In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small ship at a 45 degree angle in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now guys, this tutorial is going to be layer by layer, step by step, I'm going to be showing you every single block place as we go through the tutorial. As the ship itself is on an angle, the dimensions are a little bit strange, but it is roughly 17 by 16 blocks and also 21 blocks high. If you guys are going to be building this one underneath the water, what you're going to do is if you had your block of water right here, you're going to be one, two blocks down from that water block. This right here is going to be your layer number one. Anyway, let's get into it. So on to layer number one guys, grab yourself a couple of materials, um, I've actually made the grid right here, so we have got 17 blocks going forwards and 16 going across here, this is going to be my nice box that I'm using in case you guys are trying to fit it into a, a kind of tight space. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to need some sort of wool if you want to use that to kind of mark out where we're going to be uh, counting blocks. You're going to need spruce planks, that's going to be for the rudder. Now my one is white so we've got smooth quartz uh, slab and block and also as a variation block some white concrete. So grab those. Now if you do have your little square here, and feel free to pause the video at any time. What we're going to do right from here is we're going to have one block right on the corner. Go diagonal, go diagonal again, and that is where we're going to have our starter block. And then from here, very strangely, we're going to be forwards with one block right here, which is going to be your spruce planks. That's going to be your rudder. Now what we're going to do is diagonal from this. This is going to be the kind of back of the ship. We're going to have a, an orange um, block of wool. Then on the side of this, we're going to have a slab. And we're going to have a slab either side of that like that. Right in the middle here, also have a slab as well. Now grab yourself a white concrete block. We'll use this to differentiate between the two colors. But what we're going to do is we're going to have like a little cross here. So that center kind of slab, we're just going to build a little cross off of that like that. Then with your smooth quartz slab, if we now look at it from the side, so this is where we had that block there, we're going to have a slab going forwards from it like that. Now if we did it on the other side, that means this will be going out like that, okay? So it's really, I know it's difficult with these angled ships, but you know, it is the only way we can do it. Now what we're going to do is diagonal from this, we're going to have six slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So I'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. And then we're going to go across with a slab like that. Okay, so that is what we end up getting, or... That is what we end up getting. Now with your white concrete, just fill this all in like this. There we go. And um, well, guys, that is it. I mean, if you want to do some variation on this level already, you can just grab your smooth quartz block and every so often just put in a block like that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to keep mine where you can see the difference between slabs and the full blocks just to make it easier for the tutorial. And on to layer number two now. What we're going to do is with your white concrete block again, we're going to be doing this from the front of the ship, which interestingly is this bit right here. So where we've got this center slab, that's going to be our starting point, and we're going to go out by one, just going forwards, and out by one like that. Then either side of that, we're going to have one going back like this, okay? So we're just covering up that slab that we had underneath that. You can see there. If you want to see it from this angle, you can see it from that angle there. Um, right in the middle of this, by the way, guys, we're going to have a smooth quartz slab like that there. Then on the back of this one, we're going to have a slab. Then what we're going to do is behind this, we're going to have a block of white concrete. And we're going to go out with white concrete. Block of white concrete, out of white concrete like that. So you've got these like, two sets of two like that. We're then going to have three diagonal white concrete blocks. One two and three like that and the same on the other side one two and three like that then what we're going to do is we're going to have two going in this time so two here going in and again we've got one going over that slab that's where it ends up being and then the same again so we're going to go out but we're going to have two going in so out and two going in like that and then with your smooth quartz slab we're going to have a slab on the side there 
in the middle and on the side there. Now we can actually get rid of our guide blocks that we had on the last layer. That's why I always use a different color just for those. And then finally, with your spruce planks, plonk that down there. To make things a little bit easier, grab yourself some stripped oak wood. This is gonna be the mast that we're gonna be having through the ship. And what we're gonna do right here is from the back, we're gonna leave one and go forwards with one just like that. And then the same thing from the front of the ship as well. So we're gonna leave one, have one there like that. But that's it for layer number two. On to layer number three now. We're gonna need quite a few different materials. So I'll just go through those and uh, we can get those sorted. So you can need birch fence, spruce slab, stripped oak wood, which you should have from last time. You can need a mangrove trap door, mangrove slab, mangrove stair, out, and also a stripped mangrove wood. Uh, block the one that's smooth all over now you can of course switch this out for any materials that you want guys I've just gone for red for mines, but you could do anything really that's got that Slab and a trapdoor um, and even with the trapdoors They're only a little bit like here there. So if you wanted to switch them up you could do Right, so coming back over to the front now with your stripped mangrove wood We're actually going to be directly on top of the middle part where we've got that slab So we're gonna go one and we're gonna have another three coming back. Okay, so one, two, three. On the other side, one, two, three, like that. So in total it's four, but uh, with your center block, you know, you've got three either side like that. That's why I'm counting anyway. Then what we're gonna do is right on the front, we're gonna have a mango trap door coming out of either side of that, like this. And then we're gonna have a mangrove slab floating there, right in the middle, just there, like that with your birch fence right in the middle of this three block. We're gonna put that in there like that and there like that as well. Then what we're gonna do is back to our stripped mangrove wood now. We're gonna have four diagonals. So one, two, three, and four like that. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is just on top of these two, we're gonna have two here, two here like that. Then we're gonna have one diagonal uh, actually, no, we're going to have two diagonals. Yeah, we're going to have two diagonals here. So one and two like that. So you can kind of see the, the kind of shape of the ship now. Where we've got that kind of really curved bow. And then it kind of thins towards the back. Now to close this little gap we've got at the back, use your mangrove stairs. We're going to have one upside down here and upside down here. So that you then end up getting a nice little area where there's no water coming in. With your spruce slab, put that on top of the rudder piece. That will just finish that one up. With your stripped oak wood, build your mast up one more block. And then finally, we're gonna grab ourselves a mangrove slab. And where we've actually got this one, one, and it goes into the two, we're gonna have right here like that. So we're gonna have a little slab in there, just like that there, okay? Layer number four, and what we're gonna do is where we've got that slab right on the front, grab your stripped mangrove wood, place that straight down on top of that. Then where we've got the mangrove uh, trapdoor, put a birch fence on top of each of those. Then with your stripped mangrove wood, we're gonna have that right in the middle. Then have two more on each side. So one, two, one, two, just like that there. Then with your stripped mangrove, we're gonna go back with seven blocks diagonal, okay? So this is gonna be in by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, and seven, like that. There we go, so that's all gonna be in like that. And then right at the back, what we're gonna do is where we've got these blocks here, we're gonna go one, two, three. So it goes over the rudder, two and three like that, just to get that little bit in there like that, okay. Then with your smooth court slab right at the front here, we're gonna have a slab on the upper here, then lower, which is just gonna be on top of that little fence piece. Same here, there, and then down there, just like that. Now with your mangrove slab, we're gonna go back with six of these just on the side of this bit here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see that lower one there like that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. All right, let's come over to the back part of it now. With your birch fence, put one birch fence right in the middle of that block of three, right there like that. Grab yourself a brand new block. We're gonna need warped buttons this time. We're gonna have a warp button here, 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 and here like that. Just adding some little bits of detail. Then with a birch slab, we're gonna have an upper birch slab right on the side of this one. 
and again on the other side as well, like that. Okay. Now with a spruce slab, what you're going to do is where we've got this upper one here, which we did on the last layer, we're going to have one right up here like that. Now this is going to be for the shrouds, as we can see here, building its way up. Now on my one, I've only got it on one side. If you wanted to have it on the other side, feel free to do so. Again, with your stripped oak wood, build up your mast by one. Now grab yourself a brand new block again, which is going to be oak slab. This is going to be the actual deck. So around the front here, we're just going to have this on upper slabs like that. Either side of the mast, we're going to have an upper one like that there. Now we're going to be on to lower slabs. So we're going to have lower slabs here. Just do a little triangle kind of going across there. Well, three of them in total. Um, and then with your oak trap door, we're going to have an oak trap door here. We have lower slabs either side of that. Another oak trap door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have lower, lower, and then join those together right in the middle of that there, like that. And now where we've got the other mast, this is where we're going to be up again. So same thing we've done on this side, we're kind of mirroring on this side. Now at the back of this, we're going to add in another upper slab either side of that mast there like that. And on to layer number five. Now grab yourself your stripped mangrove wood. And what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal from the front and also up by one like that. Then with your mangrove slab, have one behind that one there, like that. Then with this little bit here, we're also going to have one diagonal from there and also going out to the sides each way. With your mangrove trapdoor now, I'm actually going to place it this way round so the little kind of uh, little bit here is facing inwards. Not that it really matters that much, but uh, that's what we're going to do, like that there. Then guys, grab yourself a brand new block. We're going to grab a composter that's going to be on top of the masts, okay? So we're going to have those on either side of that there. With your smooth quartz slab now, right in the front, we're going to have one on the upper piece here, and then we're also going to go down as well like this. So down one like that, okay? So one there, and then we're going to have this one down here. So you're still going to have the uh, little bit of fence on show like that. Then what we're going to do guys, come around to the back with your smooth quartz again, what we're going to have is where we've got that spruce slab, now I put this on the other side as well to help, but we're going to have a slab here, slab here, so it's on either side of it. Then when we get onto this back run here, we're going to have a smooth quartz stair going like that, okay? So smooth quartz stair there like that, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz slab like that. With your white concrete, once again, we're going to have just three blocks on the back here, like that there, okay? With your oak slabs now, right at the back here, we're going to have lower slabs right in the corner here, except in the middle bit, we're going to use a stair. Now, it's up to you guys which way around you want to do it, because of course it's diagonal, you can't do a diagonal stair, but have that in there, and then you can have a grindstone on top, and that'll be a wheel. So what, whichever way you go with it, have that the kind of way that it's going to be going, um, just can't, it can't be perfect really with the diagonals. Um, with your mangrove trapdoor, again, we're going to have these right on the side here, like this. I'm going to have them facing inwards towards the uh, compost that we've got there. Switching over to birch slabs now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a lower slab right here. Then we're going to need an upside down birch stair, so you're going to need to pick that block up. That's going to be upside down where you've got the fence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab here slab here, stair, and then a lower slab there like that. So it's just going up towards a kind of bit of a peak. And then finally for the hole guys, what we're going to do is where we've got these three bits of your white concrete, we're going to have smooth quartz slabs on top of those. And then just going at diagonal from this, we're going to have another birch slab here, just going out and then grab yourself a lantern and you can place that on the back. But there we go. That is it for the hole. So we're now going to build up the masts. So what we'll do first is right on the front, we're going to grab our stripped mangrove wood again. We're going to place one directly on top of the last layer. Then we're going to go forwards and we're going to have a slab. Okay, so slab like that and then a slab on top that will finish it up. So this one's got a really kind of short uh, kind of thing that goes up, bowsprit. And for the masts themselves, you're going to need a couple of materials in your toolbar. So grab yourself a composter, stripped oak wood, granite wall, oak fence, birch fence and also a spruce pressure plate that's going to actually cover up the uh, 
composters. I quite like it for that. So what we'll do from here is we're going to have the frontmost one first. We're going to have four blocks of your stripped oak wood on top of the composter. So one, two, three, and four. Build a composter on top of that. Then what we're going to do is going to go forwards diagonally with another composter. Add another four blocks on top. One, two, three, four. Then add a granite wall and then two oak fences on top of that. Then with your spruce pressure plate, just fill that one up there like that. So just cover up the gap on your composter. For the backmost one, we're going to go up with six blocks of stripped oak wood. One, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, put a composter on top. And again, come forwards diagonally with another composter. Then go up again with six blocks of your stripped oak wood. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then put a granite wall on top and then two oak fence blocks on top of that there, like that. With your spruce pressure plate, just fill that gap up there, just to cover that one up with it there, like that. Now with your oak fence, what we're gonna do is where we've got the uh, stripped mangrove wood block right here, we're gonna go up with three of these, one, two, and three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go diagonal, coming towards the mast, like this. We're gonna have another three, two, and three. Then we're going to do the same again. So diagonal, one, two, three, like that. So what you end up getting is a two, three, 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 just like that there. With your granite wall, what we're going to do is we're going to be diagonal here. Okay, so we're going to be up diagonal like that. And we're just going to be going backwards this way as well. Okay, so just there. None of these join up because we're diagonal and actually kind of looks quite nice with it being quite light but that is where we're going to go to so it's almost like that one there joins right into the granite block down there like that so the next part will depend on where your sails are going to be and which side they're going to be on so in my case I had my sails on the right hand side of the ship and therefore the shrouds are on the left but uh, if you guys want to switch that around you can do it depends on how the wind is in your Kind of Minecraft world if you're thinking that uh, deeply about it. But uh, yeah, so for this, what we're going to do is on top of that spruce slab that we put, we're going to grab ourselves some birch fence, which is what we use for shrouds. And we're going to go up with a total of four from this. One, two, three, and four. Going forwards diagonal, we're gonna also going to have another four. So one, two, three, and four. With the back of these two, just join in two on the back there like that. So then they connect right in the middle of those, add another two, one and two. Then what we're gonna do is right on the side of this, we're gonna join in towards the mast and this is gonna go up a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five and six, like that. Now guys, you can do it on the other side as well. What you'll find is you'll hit into your sail quite quickly. So it's kind of up to you. With these ones, I tended just to leave it on one side, just keep it on the other, just to keep everything nice and simple. For the shrouds at the front, grab yourself your birch fence and what we're going to do is we're going to go up on top of this slab here, so where we've got that mangrove trapdoor, we're going to go up with three, so one, two, three, and go back diagonal as well, so one, two, three. Join on the back of those, like that, so they then connect together. And then are going to add another three on top of this one, so one, two, three, that will keep you in line, or get you in line, with the composter. Then join onto that one, so it then connects into the whole mast. And they're gonna add just two on top of this, one and two like that. Now if you go onto the backmost mast, again, it depends on which side you want to have your sail, but for me, it is the right-hand side of the ship because we've got the shrouds on the left. What we're gonna do is where we've got the back one here, we're gonna go diagonal with a spruce slab. Then we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go diagonal, and again, then what we're going to do is going to go up with one slab and also diagonal here like that. So one, two, and three as well. So we just get a total of six, one, two, three, one, two, three, just stepping up very, very gently. Now grab yourself a spruce stair. It's up to you guys which orientation you have this stair going in. What do I mean by that? Well, if I look at the ship from this side, you can see the stairs all kind of like line up. But if I go from this side, they don't. Um, so you could have it where you end up having them going this way instead, for example. Um, but for me, I quite like it going this way, but there is no right or wrong, totally up to you guys what you want to do. What we're going to do is going to have from here, four blocks down, one, two, three, and four. This is going to be a starting block, place a stair right on the side of that. Then we're going to come forwards and diagonal and down as well. So forwards, diagonal, down, all right? I'm going to have those two stairs there like that. 
Now that gives us three stairs. That's actually going to be eight going all the way back. So one, two, three, six, seven, and eight. And in the end, I ended up just putting in some wool. It makes it a lot easier. So uh, probably go for that to just build it rather than trying to get all your stairs lined up. Then for the front mast with your slabs again, where we're going to have this one is going to be on the first full block, go to the upper piece, and then we're going to go diagonal like that. This time it's also going to go forwards diagonal as well, okay? So rather than just being straight back. And then we're going to go up and back, okay? And we're just going to have two of those there like that. So you just go one, two, one, two, like that there. For the top part of this, we're going to have three blocks down. So one, two, and then we're going to have a stair on the third one like that. Then we're going to go forwards and out as well, like this here. And then we're also going to go back as well. So again, I'm going to use this the kind of wall blocks, this made it so much easier, honestly. So a wall block there, a wall block there, like that. They kind of clash a little bit because it is quite a small ship, but you're only going to get four of them on the frontmost one there, like that. Sales-wise, I ended up stealing an idea from my fantastic community on Discord who posted some awesome ships. Um, so in this case, I ended up having a mushroom block down at the bottom, so the mushroom kind of stem, and then having bone block uh, to give it a kind of a bit of a tiered a more dirty look than the old uh, kind of white wool which does look when you put it in contrast to it quite white um, it's up to you guys what you want to do with this um, I ended up using world edit in order to get my mushroom stem to be kind of uh, perfect all the way around um, but that was just because that's what I kind of wanted um, but it's kind of up to you what you want to do with this so I'll show you how to do that with world edit and how I ended up doing that pattern but for the time being, we're just going to grab ourselves a normal kind of wall block for this. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is very basic with our wall block. is just going to be dragging these down. I know this is going to be really boring, and I'm really sorry, survival players. I apologize so much. It's not going to be block by block for this part of it. Instead, we're going to show you the method to do it. It will make it more useful for you if you do your own ships as well. Now, you'll notice that this now doesn't match to the front part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up having a couple of these. I'm going to make a kind of like smooth transition into it. It's going to be like our frame. Think of it that way. There we go. Something like that will do. And keep on bringing these ones down. Just drag them down. And you get something like that. And you'll notice we've got some bits at the back as well. So what we can do, of course, is do the same thing where we've got a couple of them going up. That gives us a really basic shape, but it doesn't look great at the minute, as I think you guys will agree. So what we're going to now try to do is make some of this part of it right in the middle here, bow out, be pushed out. So let's start at the front. We're going to add in a couple blocks, for example, there. Then next, we can add in some more blocks and delete some blocks as well as you go. OK, so there we go. Get that in there. Now, next, we're going to do the same kind of thing. Maybe we have a couple in here. Maybe even bring this all the way down. Why not? Let's be brave. Um, let's go for even more around here as well. Put that one back in there like that. Have a couple more here. And maybe even have some here like this. And tuck in a couple behind. OK. So you might end up getting something like that. Now we're starting to get more shape, more structure going on with this thing. And it's starting to look a little bit better. So, last little tweaks on this one. I think this bit is the bit that's uh, messing up a little bit. It doesn't look as nice as I think it should. So we're going to have a couple blocks in here like this. Um, and yeah, let's put in that one there. Let's see what that looks like. And then we're going to go down a couple here, perhaps like that. So we tend to get more of that in there. And that's just kind of broken up some of the shapes there. But that's going to be the kind of basic part for that one. Um, what we can also do is we can add in some extra blocks behind here to kind of tuck the whole thing in a little bit and that will help give it a little bit more shape and it's the same with well not down there apparently because we can't do that one but it's the same same with uh, some bits down here for example that will end up helping with your shape as if you end up adding in a couple blocks like that so i'm pretty happy with how that one has now turned out it is quite manual you know you have to play around with it you're going to end up with different designs this one looks different to this one, for example. So again, sorry, survival players. Right, next bit, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag these down. And again, we're going to be quite off with this. But don't worry about it. Just drag them down. So there we go. That's what we end up getting. We're going to knock an extra one off there. And also on the back here, we're going to add in an extra bit just like that there. And yeah, they are clashing quite a bit. Don't worry about it. It's a small sailed ship. So same thing, same kind of uh, exact thing. We're going to add in some extra blocks here and there. Maybe even tag in some blocks there, perhaps. We might have one going back there and one there. 
and do the same around these bits here just add in a couple extra blocks to try and really pull back the frame of this I'm actually gonna have that going all the way to there perhaps even behind there I even have this one right at the top knock that one back as well to try and get it away from the other shape now that doesn't mean I have to knock some bits down as well but there we go really simple little sail like that um, so that one's looking really quite pushed forwards compared with my other version there which actually looks bigger interestingly so I think with this one I actually ended up not going forwards as much as I have with this one but that's what variations about and that's why I quite like this technique although it's not exact it does force you to kind of variate your sails and you end up with interesting things so I'm going to be using a mod called World Edit for the last bit, which is to do with just colouring this in. They could do it manually as well, where you end up, you know, choosing which bits you want to do where. But you could go in and just replace these with like mushroom stem, for example. And when you do that, you will get it nice and smooth on each side. But because I've got a mod that will make it nice and easier, I can actually just do REPL. Um, and actually, in fact, the new one is Tool REPL, which is what they're trying to get us to all use. And they can use mushroom stem and now we can just right click and we can use it like a paintbrush. But what we want to do is just randomly have blocks going up and that's pretty much it. So some of them go up, some of them go down. Just really vary that whole section. But this is going to be the dirtier part of the sail, which kind of gets a lot more water on it. Uh, so that's the reason, you know, it's kind of getting a bit corroded perhaps from the salt water. But there we go, we'll get something like that. But if you can push it up that high, do the same thing on this side as well. And then we're going to finish it up with the bone block as well. Okay, so we're just going to go over there. So same command again, that slash tool repl bone block. Um, again, you can just do this manually. But uh, all I'm going to do is just replace that wall that I had because that was just being used for shaping. And I do advise if you're going to do gradients, things like that, get the basic shape done first in something that you're not going to use in the build because then you're going to know if you've missed any blocks to replace them. If you're doing it by hand as well, that'll kind of help you as well. Um, just to make sure you don't go over anything but then we get that kind of look um, but guys that is it for this tutorial hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have comment like and subscribe if you guys really enjoy my content please do check out my patreon as well um, I love the people on patreon that they keep this channel going so thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one